this sentence actually has to go through two rounds of appeal before it is finally uh, enforced. And so he intends to appeal. His lawyers have already said so. But uh, as you can imagine, this news has dominated the newspapers here in Italy this morning. Uh, here you have the Repubblica newspaper saying that Berlusconi's sentence was even stronger than what was expected. Now, that's because the, pros the, ma the prosecutors had actually asked for six years, but the judges had decided to go with seven. The Milan-based Correr de la Sera uh, said that it was a tough sentence for Mr. Berlusconi of seven years, but he has already said in a statement that he will resist and that this sentence is really more violent than anyone could ever imagine. Now, you have another Rome-based paper, the Messaggero, also talking about his desire to resist, but it's interesting that they mentioned that the shares for Mr. Berlusconi's media set company also took a dive the minute the sentence was announced, the verdict was announced. And then you have Il Fatto Quotidiano talking about how the seven years for Mr. Berlusconi, but the disgrace really is that the country continues to govern together with him. That, of course, referring to that fragile coalition between the centre-left and Mr. Berlusconi's centre-right, People of Freedom Party. And, of course, Il Giornale. Now, that's Mr. Berlusconi's family newspaper. Uh, their headline, Macelleria, which means the slaughterhouse, of course, referring to that very tough sentence. This newspaper also talking about his daughter's comments, Marina Berlusconi defending her father, saying that this sentence was already written and it was decided even beforehand. So that's really some of the reactions that we've seen in the papers here in Italy to this tough sentence that Mr. Berlusconi has to face in that sensational Ruby Gate trial.